In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning and a welcome to you to morning prayer on Wednesday the 16th of September. Today we celebrate the lesser festival of Ninian who was Bishop of Galloway and Apostle to the Picts of Scotland. Ninian was a Celt born in southern Scotland around the year 360 AD. He is regarded as the first major preacher of the gospel to the people living in Britain north of the wall, that is living outside the territory that had been Roman rule. He built a church in Galloway and preached throughout southern Scotland doing missionary work to the Picts in Scotland. He also preached in the Solway Plains and in the Lake District and he was a principal agent in forming the character of Celtic Christianity. So it is to the Celtic style of worship that we turn to this morning for morning prayer. Please do join in with the words in bold. One thing I have asked of the Lord, this is what I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. Who is it that you seek? We seek the Lord our God. Do you seek him with all your heart? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him with all your soul? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him with all your mind? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him with all your strength? Amen. Christ, have mercy. To whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life, and we have believed and have come to know that you are the Holy One of God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Our psalm is Psalm 119, beginning to read at verse 1. Blessed are they whose ways are blameless, who walk according to the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who keep his statutes and seek him with all their heart. They do nothing wrong, they walk in his ways. You have laid down precepts that are to be fully obeyed. Oh, that my ways were steadfast in obeying your decrees, then I would not be put to shame when I consider all your commands. I will praise you with an upright heart as I learn your righteous laws. I will obey your decrees. Do not utterly forsake me. How can a young man keep his way pure? By living according to your word. I seek you with all my heart. Do not let me stray from your commands. I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Praise be to you, O Lord. Teach me your decrees. With my lips I recount all the laws that have come from your mouth. Rejoice, I rejoice in following your statutes as one rejoices in great riches. I meditate on your precepts and consider your ways. I delight in your decrees. I will not neglect your word. Do good to your servant and I will live. I will obey your word. Open my eyes that I may see wonderful things in your law. I am a stranger on earth. Do not hide your commands from me. My soul is consumed with longing for your laws at all times. You rebuke the arrogant who are cursed and who stray from your commands. Remove me from scorn and contempt, for I keep your statutes. Though rulers sit together and slander me, your servant will meditate on your decrees. Your statutes are my delight, they are my counsellors. I am laid low in the dust, 
Preserve my life according to your word. I recounted my ways and you answered me. Teach me your decrees. Let me understand the teaching of your precepts, then I will meditate on your wonders. My soul is weary with sorrow. Strengthen me according to your word. Keep me from deceitful ways. Be gracious to me through your law. I have chosen the way of truth. I have set my heart on your laws. I hold fast to your statutes, O Lord. Do not let me be put to shame. I run in the path of your commands, for you have set my heart free. In Lystra, there sat a man crippled in his feet who was lame from birth and had never walked. He listened to Paul as he was speaking. Paul looked directly at him, saw that he had faith to be healed and called out, Stand up on your feet. At that, the man jumped up and began to walk. When the crowd saw what Paul had done, they shouted in their Lycanian language, The gods have come down to us in human form. Barnabas they called Zeus, and Paul they called Hermes because he was the chief speaker. The priest of Zeus, whose temple was just outside the city, brought bulls and wreaths to the city gates because he and the crowd wanted to offer sacrifices to them. But when the Apostle Barnabas and Paul heard of this, they tore their clothes and rushed into the crowd, shouting, Men, why are you doing this? We too are only men, human like you. We are bringing you good news, telling you to turn from these worthless things to the living God, who made heaven and earth and sea and everything in them. In the past, he let all nations go their own way, yet he has not left himself without testimony. He has shown kindness by giving you rain from heaven and crops in their seasons. He provided you with plenty of food and fills your hearts with joy. Even with these words, they had difficulty keeping the crowd from sacrificing to them. Then some Jews came from Antioch and Iconium and won the crowds over. They stoned Paul and dragged him outside the city, thinking he was dead. But after the disciples had gathered round him, he got up and went back into the city. The next day, he and Barnabas left for Derbe. They preached the good news in that city and won a large number of disciples, Then they returned to Lystra, Iconium and Antioch, strengthening the disciples and encouraging them to remain true to the faith. We must go through many hardships to enter the kingdom of God, they said. Paul and Barnabas appointed elders for them each in each church and with praying and fasting committed them to the Lord in whom they had put their trust. After going through Pisidia, they came into Pamphylia, and when they had preached the word in Perga, they went down to Italia. From Italia, they sailed back to Antioch, where they had been committed to the grace of God for the work they had now completed. On arriving there, they gathered the church together and reported all that God had done through them, and how he had opened the door of faith to the Gentiles. And they stayed there a long time with the disciples. Let us pray. Father God, we pray today for persecuted Christians across the world. We ask that they know the hope that you provide that the Holy Spirit would strengthen them and that they understand how much they are loved. As Paul and Barnabas did, 
We pray that they would know how to share the gospel and fearlessly tell others about Jesus. We ask that persecuted believers have access to a Bible, work and a safe place to live. And we pray for believers who have been rejected by friends and family and ask that you surround them with a Christian family who love them and support them spiritually, emotionally and physically. Almighty and everlasting God, who called your servant Ninian to preach the gospel to the people of Northern Britain, raise up in this land and every land heralds and evangelists of your kingdom, that your church may make known the immeasurable riches of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. And as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Christ as a light, illumine and guide me. Christ as a shield, overshadow me. Christ under me, Christ over me. Christ beside me, on my left and my right. This day be within and without me lowly and meek yet all-powerful. Be in the heart of each of whom I speak, in the mouth of each who speaks unto me. This day be within and without me, lowly and meek yet all-powerful. Christ as a light, Christ as a shield, Christ beside me, on my left and my right. May the peace of the Lord Christ go with us wherever he may send us. May he guide us through the wilderness, protect us through the storm. May he bring us home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown us. May he bring us home rejoicing once again into our doors. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.